Spurs is just good. Yeah? Doping. Doping. That's a very um, relevant topic. And we will, we will actually see a film today which is, um, which is highlighting this issue. Um, <coughs> anything else? Bad sides of sport? Bullying um, in uh, in the f which context on the on the court or both? both? Uh, I was thinking about between teammates or people doing the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because this can be also related to racism and. Uh, Homophobia. Yeah. If we're at violence as well, that's also part of sports, which might not be so positive. Both on the court and also yeah. off the court. Support of violence, hooliganism. Uh, sexual abuse. Sexual abuse. Unfortunately, a very relevant topic as well. Corruption, when it comes to money, game fixing. You were talking about that earlier, yeah? Just uh, drop, uh, shout it out. Uh, exploitation of any kind. Trafficking, human trafficking. It's actually part of sport. Can be, at least. So these are, if we can say they are negative. Things and, and uh, we won't stop on each of these topics today, but we need to realize and we need to be aware that these things occur in sport, and we need to, in order to understand, as I said, in order to understand the whole um, the whole uh, realm of sport, we also need to acknowledge that these things are there. For instance, when it comes to sexual abuse, one might ask, what is it with sports? that makes sexual abuse, um, or that makes it, um, um, what do you say, um, at Egnet, at Egnetstead. Um, not a proper place, <laughs> but a, a place where, where sexual abuse can happen uh, more often than not. And what is it with sports that might be a, a breeding place for, for such things. Anyone? Yeah? Sports make uh, often the leaders or trainers or whatever uh, make um, a safe place for the children and make them trust them uh, because it's easier to do sexual abuse and not be discovered if you have some sort of power over Exactly. It's a power way. relationship. And you can actually get by by saying, hey, I'll, I'll like to, I don't know how, how, um, how um, widespread it is in Norway. We don't know much, or we don't know enough about that already, but we know from other, other countries that it's a common practice to, for instance, say, hey, I'll let you play on the team, I'll let you come to this tournament if you <coughs> do this and that. So it's a big problem. Maybe not most here, but we can't, we still can't put it on the cover and say it's not happening in Norway or Germany or France. So there are lots of things to sports which are not so positive. And when we talk about this, uh, it's relevant to talk about norms. What is a norm? What is a norm? Hmm? Unwritten rule, something that we relate to in society, for instance. There are many unwritten rules or norms of how to behave. And these norms may vary uh, between societies. 
we divide, uh, we may divide between different types of norms. Um, Constructive norms regulates behavior. If we have a constructive norms, it's going to tell you how to behave. If we have something called competence, competence norm, we leave it up to those who are, have the competence, competence to say something about something to decide what should be the norm. It's not like a law in a leg legislation, but it's, a, it's sort of a guidance to what, what is the correct thing to do. And then we have the norms of action. How to behave. Now, um, are there, is there correlation between society's norms and the norms in sport? Both in society and in sport, for instance, sexual abuse is frowned upon. We're not allowed to do it. It's not supposed to happen. We can agree that it's something that shouldn't happen, right? How about violence? Is there a correlation between violence in society and in sport? I am not allowed, I know some of you work as bouncers, I'm not allowed to go uh, to whichever pub or something and just hit someone in the face. In society that's not allowed. Do we have, uh, do we have situations in sports where this is allowed? Yes, <laughs> that's the correct answer. We have sports where actually the, the aim is to hit someone in the face. And we also have sports that encourages fighting. Not only as part of, it, yeah, it's part of the game, such as ice hockey. It's not allowed, but it's allowed. It's common, although it's not allowed. So there is not always correlation between sports and society's norms, of course. And then things that are frowned upon in society may be legal or at least accepted in sports. <coughs> and then we're talking about another word. I don't know, have you had uh, <coughs> sports in society in high school? Any of you gone or taken this uh, Idris Linea? Yeah? You heard about the sports ethos. <laughs> sports ethos, which is like the inner, um, not the meaning, but the inner um, um, norms or unwritten rules or what happens in sports. And in, in sports you have, for instance, those you remember from sport history, you have, for instance, the ideal of gentlemanism or being a gentleman. You should also be an amateur. You should play the game, but you should play it fair. Fair play, uh, spirit, the spirit of the game, all is all underneath this ethos of sport. So when we talk about norms, we talk about the, sports, uh, the norms of sports and we talk about sports ethos, there are some things in sports that are accepted, but wouldn't be accepted in society, but it's a part of sports ethos. But then there are also some things in sports um, that we can say is a deviation at avik from sports norms too. And that's when we find ourselves on the, on the edge. What is allowed? What is not allowed? Um, such as violence, doping, you have this idea in sports that you should, be, you should be the best. It should cost you a lot. 
especially elite sports, your aim is to be better than everyone else. So where is the limit? Where do you cross that line? Going from a deviation from a norm or, or something that is legal in the specific context or deviating from a norm, violating the rules. For instance, through using doping or, or other things. So there is this thin line uh, of cheating. Not only doping, but cheating. I had an example yesterday with an, some other students. I remember from a game in, um, in a handball game uh, a few years ago. It was a championship for men. Uh, and Norway had the last free kick. No, not a kick, but a free throw. And um, I don't remember, if you remember, I don't know if you remember the situation, but there was this guy, Jonny Jensen, <laughs> he was going to take this uh, throw. And uh, it was in the playoffs, so if he scored, it would affect who they were playing later. So instead of shooting really, uh, really hard, he missed on purpose. And obviously nothing happened, but it was very criticized afterwards because he was breaking sports ethos. This was not fair play. He was being tactical. He wasn't breaking a rule. You're allowed to do this. But still, it's, it's, not, it's not very, we say not sporty, but it's not, it's not the, the spirit of the game to do su uh, such things. Although everyone wants to win, everyone wants to, the, the aim of the competition is to go as high as possible. So there is this um, thin line of, um, I won't say amoral, but I will say thin line <coughs> of what is legitimate and what all of a sudden isn't. And that line uh, is important to be aware of when we're studying sports. Why do we accept something or some behavior for, for, from some but not from others? And what is it with sports that allows un antisocial behavior, for instance? <coughs> is it the characteristics of the sports system? If it is, do we just accept it? Or is there a way we should try to, um, try to um, what is it, influence it in order to maybe not change the entire system, but at least uh, change parts of it, which is not fair or as good? <coughs> as I said, today we're going to... We're going to watch a film, uh, and this film is about is an American production, and it's about the American win at all cost culture, uh, from the perspective of uh, bodybuilding and uh, performing enhancement or performance enhancing drugs. Um, I often say when I show American films or or documentary, which is this is. Um, could it happen here in Norway? Because often we think it's a bit extre <laughs> extreme over there. <laughs> I don't know how you guys uh, feel about that. But it's sometimes uh, we can't relate to that part of society. But I just want you, when you watch this film, to um, think through, is this something that could have happened here? If not, eh, when it comes to anabolic steroids, which is much of this film's uh, topic, uh, are there any other things uh, in our sports systems uh, that uh, could be related to this? And are there any other ways we could say that uh, sports deviates from its norm? Do you understand what I mean? Two, <laughs> two or three nods. It's not, it's not too bad. <laughs> Like five percent. <laughs> uh, now I want you to think: How relevant is this in your context? And then try to try to link it to other things which might be more relevant in our context. And because we might not be able to change things, 
Should we just accept that they are the way they are? The last question will be in, do in doping wise, if, if we're not able to combat doping, should we just allow it? Is it better to allow everything instead of it being unfair? <coughs> or is this a characteristic of our society? Because we have some things happening in our society today which is still influencing us in positive or negative ways. Uh, it lasts for uh, almost um, a hun hundred minutes. <laughs> so we're just going to start watching it and then we'd rather take the discussion afterwards. Uh, but if you want a little break now, for ten minutes, you can have that. And then um, we'll watch the film. And then if we have time after that, we'll, um, we'll d have a little bit of discussion. There was something I was going to say. Yeah, for those of you who didn't hear about this, I also posted it on your Facebook pages. It's a recommended to go on this trip because it's very nice. And also at the back door there, there's an invitation to open guest lectures on the coming Monday <coughs> and Thursday. So you are very welcome to come. Any questions before we um, take a small break and then see the film? The film will be here, so it's uh, maybe you should all move a little bit in front. But of course, you're free to do whatever you want. <laughs>